What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over how to spot Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild. Now, these seeds like to hide in various different locations, so we're going to go over that so you know how to spot them when you're journeying through Hyrule. The first one up is a Korok seed that hides with leaves and fairy dust, as you see right here. If you press A to examine it, that's how you interact with this and you can reveal the Korok seed. This one is right here in Zoro's domain. It's literally directly above King Dorfin's throne. It's right there at the top of there. So I'll jump to the bottom just so you can see. Now this is a similar Korok hiding spot with fairy dust and this one is in the snowfield area uh, in the Tabantha Tundra at the top left corner of the map. By the Kaiwan Shrine, here we're going to see a boulder Korok hiding spot. So this one is at the top of a pillar. Now these boulders, I mean, sometimes it's a group of boulders and you have to push one down a, a hill or a slope. Other ones you have to kind of push it into a hole. This one happens to be at the top of a pillar with three boulders at the bottom. What I have to do is climb to the top of the pillar and simply push the boulder over. All right, and there you have it. That's gonna reveal the awesome Korok seed. So now we're gonna move to a circle pattern Korok hiding spot. I'm by the Elden Tower. I'm actually at Lake Verona, and we're gonna be heading to the tip of Lake Verona to find the first uh, circle pattern Korok hiding spot. <laughs> As you can see here, there is a ring of lilies at the bottom. Let's just go ahead and jump to the center of it to grab this Korok seed. Now there's other cases where it's simply a circle of rocks and you need to throw another rock into the center. So sometimes that's the case as well. So another example of a circle pattern hiding spot would be this here. So you can see a, a circle of rocks, but there's one missing. That means that there's going to be a rock somewhere nearby and you need to just kind of look for it, bring it on over, place it into the circle and you will reveal the Korok seed at that point. Now for a natural hiding spot, um, you could just pick up random rocks throughout Hyrule and sometimes you'll find a Korok seed underneath it. Right now I'm next to the Shrine of Resurrection in the Forest of Spirits and that's where I'm located now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this rock to reveal this natural hiding spot Korok. This one's pretty easy, it's just a cube pattern. So you're gonna come across these cubes throughout Hyrule and you just kinda gotta complete the puzzle. So for this one, I just had to grab it with my Magnesis, drop it onto the other cube, and that revealed the Korok seed. Now let's head over to the Great Fairy Fountain area. Uh, on the right hand side of the map, it is near the Dahesho Shrine. Uh, it's just under the Akala region. Uh, this is what the Fairy Fountain looks like. And we're gonna run to the right and you're gonna see these three trees that are identical, except for one thing. It's the apples on this tree. So let's go ahead and take off the apples that should not be there so that we can make it truly identical to the other trees. And this is going to reveal the Korok seed. All right, so I gotta take this apple down. And there's one more, and it's gonna be this one up here. So 
so let's go ahead and shoot that one off. Nearby, right at the Great Fairy Fountain, there's another puzzle to be found, and this is a flower trails. So if you see these, this is what you need to do. Basically, you have to touch the right daffodil first, and then follow the correct pattern in the correct order, and you will be able to finally reveal the Korok on this puzzle. So as you can see, I had to follow the trail of these four, daffodils and finally the last daffodil was at the top of this tree and now I have the Korok. Okay, so now we're going to be heading to Winter Island. This is another flower trail example. So this one's different than the last one and you'll see just a single lonely daffodil and when it touches you it will disappear and you have to continue chasing it. Urbosa's fury is ready. The next seed is right here in central Hyrule. It's by the bottomless swamp, just to the left of it on the trail. And this is actually going to be a food offering. So this is very simple. You'll see a bunch of statues with some apples in front of them with one or two statues with no apples. And the way you interact with this puzzle is simply by putting a apple into the plate that is empty. This one's pretty awesome. It's a race to get the Korok seed. So let me go ahead and use Revali's Gale to get to the top of this pillar. And there's like a tree stump at the top. And once my feet touch the tree stump, it's going to activate the race, as you can see here. All right, sweet. So we got the Korok seed from the race. And now we're going to move on to the next one. And these are going to be archery hiding spots. So in Breath of the Wild, you'll see like these balloons just, you know, all over the place. What you need to do is you need to take your arrow and just shoot the balloons. Now, sometimes there's more than one balloon. Sometimes uh, you kind of have to like find them. And in other cases, you'll see like a flower like you see in this video. So if you walk next to that flower, uh, it's going to activate the archery puzzle for the Korok seed. A similar one is you'll see like a little balloon inside of a tree. Go ahead and hit it with an arrow to reveal a Korok. And now the final hiding spot in this video are horse hurdles. Sometimes you have to hop over fences with your horse. And in some cases, you might just get a Korok seed at that time. Uh, I do want to say that there are a few other you know, locations that they can hide, you know, there's so many different variations, but this should serve as a pretty solid uh, ground to make it much easier for you to spot these uh, moving forward in the game for you. So I hope that helped. If this did help, please make sure to smash that like button. My name is Mike, also known as Hyrule Dude. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you'll know when I make a new video, which will be coming out tomorrow. Cheers.